looking at the whole conservative election campaign, was it a debacle, a catastrophe, <laughs> catastrophe <laughs> or a, a shambles? Catastrophe. A catastrophe. Oh, there was like a lot it. of tossers involved. <laughs> <laughs> those things. All of those? Absolutely all. It was the worst election campaign I think I've ever seen anybody run. What, including yours Thank to challenge goodness. Jeremy? Thank <laughs> goodness. <laughs> sue him. Sue him. Sue him right now. Mine didn't last as long as this did. No, no, you... you and you... I, didn't, I didn't have Linton Crosby's extremely expensive advice. No, no, clearly. Uh... <laughs> so were you thrilled when the exit poll came out? Did you think, yes, Jeremy, you proved me absolutely wrong? Well <laughs> done. I was thrilled. I think everybody was astonished on all sides. And I thought, well, I think I'll get down to the count and see what's going on. Where, where were you? <laughs> <laughs> well, normally at the end of an election campaign, you dash home because you've been out up for 17 hours, you've knocked on as many doors as you can, you're absolutely exhausted. You go home, you have a quick bath, you get your suit on, you turn on the telly to see what the exit poll is so you can see what the result's actually going to be, and then you digest that for a bit and then you go to your own count to see what's happening. How do you have a quick bath? Well, you have to. <laughs> you have a... <laughs> you may... <laughs> if... The rest I understood, but the quick bath... <laughs> 